this episode we are making coconut pulley. This is like a samosa sweet savory dish enjoyed by the whole family. And let's begin and make this wonderful dish. Drop in two coconut grated into a casserole. I'm using a 24 centimeter casserole here and I'm gonna put some date paste in. I've got this from the supermarket. It's date but in a paste. So you can buy dates everywhere. If you don't have it in paste, you can use your blender, but you need to add more ingredients. So just buy the whole paste, drop it in. I'm dropping in, I'm adding two and a half large spoons of date paste. This is all depend on how meat, how tasty you like it. So if you do like it quite sugary, add more. If you don't, add less. So give it a mix, so it mixes with the coconut and everything, it's like a chocolate brown date paste and all that. If you like it sweet, add more. If you don't, add less. So give it a good mix, so it infuses with the coconut as well at the date paste. Now drop in about two to three bay leaves, about five or six cardamoms, drop it on. That basically takes uh, the older infuse away. And I'm gonna add some, about two pieces of cinnamon drop it in and basically use your hand to mix it all up we want it to basically go all around and infuse with everything with this one of the things you hear if you don't want it to mix it in the bay leaves and all that you know that the other video I have the infuser absolutely buy one of them so you don't have to take all this cinnamon cardamom and bay leaves out later you can take it out straight away so follow the link. First of all, put it on a medium gas, gas mark two, and we want it to slowly cook, slowly char all the way through. We're gonna leave it for, keep on stirring every two to three minutes, but we're gonna leave this for 20 minutes to cook. It will take a while to basically cook away all the way through because it's quite a stiff dish itself. So it's more of a sweet, savory dish. It's something you would have as a snack. Now I'm using my large 26 centimeter saucepan here. I'm gonna give half a kilogram of rice flour and drop it all in. This will be this will be the outer texture of the savory dish, traditionally called. This will be called coconut pizza savory dish. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt. Again, this is depending on taste. While you put it in and give it a nice stir. So this will take about 10 minutes. Keep on giving it a good stir every minute or so, so it doesn't burn or anything. After it's all heated up, pop it into a bowl. I'm gonna add some water. Water wine. I'm gonna add seven to eight cups of boiling hot water. If you do see, if you need more, add more. Use your wooden spoon or a spatula to give it a stir. I have made prepared some earlier, so as you can see, it's already getting tough. So the what I've shown you in the bowl when I was cooking was less, but I've made some earlier just to show you because I'm making this for at least about 10, 15 people. So keep on stirring, add more water. First of all, seven to eight cups. Maximum you could need is up to about 15 cups and everything. So drop it in, give it a good stir. We need it to stay quite rough and tough. We don't want it to be squidgy and soft. So keep on stirring, add more water as you go on. After the 20 minutes, the coconut, we're gonna put it on a very low gas and keep on stirring so everything mixes. We're gonna stir and keep it in a very low gas for about five minutes and let that cook more thoroughly if you do want to put the gas down a bit you can put it down after 10 minutes but it's all up to you depending on which cookie you're cooking some take longer some take faster so this will be fine put it on a gas mark one and let it slowly cook and hopefully you could smell the aroma of the coconut and the other flowers that bean into this savory dish so after the 25 minutes turn the gas off and we're gonna let it cool down slowly 
then we're gonna add it onto the flour the mix when uh, the coconuts cool down pop it into a bowl and take the cardamom and cinnamon and the bay leaves out so because they're quite bitter when you taste them they don't taste that nice so we want it out but if you have used uh, the Joseph Joseph the polke infuser or the Joseph Joseph infuser I'll leave the link again if you have used that you don't have to worry you just take the pot out but throw them in the bin and let it cool down to a good temperature we want it to be mild first of all you need a work surface you've got your flour here ground flour and you've got about a mug full of water there you need that to give it a good more texture so get dig in give it a good mix and everything wet your hands every few seconds so nothing sticks onto it and start digging into the flour and baking it so you want it to be gathering together you want it to stick with each other so keep on mushing it together it takes about three or four minutes to do that and it, you need some muscles of that after you've done that make it into a large balls I'm going to use this and you need to get your coconut all finished and done now we're going to put the coconut into that dough let's show you how to do that so take about one pinch full of the ground flour pop it into your hand and give it a good mix so we want it to basically mix so keep it good give it a good roll give it a good shake we want it round into a bowl so we want it to a uh, round ball shaped then you flatten it a bit so when you do flatten it that bakes you makes a hole into uh, the savory dish itself the flour the dough mix of what you've made so that when you've made a little a small cup we'll put the coconut in there and close it in get a good so if you do need to wet your finger do wet it like close it in and it's like a samosa shaped fish and that's the filling and the product itself so this is going to taste quite sweet quite sugary and the soft texture at the back and it's going to be quite juicy inside as well when you do eat it when you do break it open it's going to flow out and you can do that design what I've done there it's all up to you if you don't want to do that design it's absolutely fine it's not going to make a massive difference but again keep it give it a good roll make it into a ball then flatten it out when you do flat, flatten it out that basically gives you the hole you need to put the texture in so that will give you then you want to put up actually a spoonful of of the coconut because that you want it, that meatiness to it you want that sugary texture to come out for you and it's going to be sugary and savory all at once and that's all you need to do and you can make it into a ball shape you can make it into a triangle you can do any design you like you can copy what I've done there it's all up to you and that's all it's about all you need to do is enjoy with your friends and family hope you have enjoyed this uh, episode of creating flavors after you've made uh, quite a few pieces you we're gonna boil uh, this all into a dish after that and that will be the final task so let's go get a pan and boil guys get yourself a casserole put it on uh, hot water we're gonna leave it for on a boil for about two three minutes we want it to boil over so about that's gonna be about a pint of water gas mark free is absolutely fine we want boiling water put a colander on top when you have put a colander on top that's where all the, the savory the, the dish itself it's gonna steam through it's a coconut pita so we're gonna drop it all in and all that so we want all this to steam steaming wise it's not going to take very long so it's going to take up to about 50 to 20 minutes it's 
gonna steam all the way through. When it's all done, you're gonna see more, it's gonna more of a golden texture to it. And that's when it's the right temperature to drizzle some water over it before we take everything out and start enjoying. So, all you do, put the lid on, leave it for it to cook for 15 to 20 minutes. Now after it's all done, take the lid off and have a check how it's going. A little pinch to it, one press. If it does have a like a oomph sound to it, it's all done. All you need to do, take it off your gas and pop it into a bowl. And before you go, drizzle some cold water. So it basically gives it a nice texture and it gives it a move a smoother finish because it's steamed, it's puffy. Use your oven glove to take it off and drop it into your bowl. And you can see all the steam coming out looking great and nice and tasty. It's gonna be very hot, so cool it down. You can blow it down or let it cool down slowly. If you do cool it down with a little fan or whichever what you have, blow it, it's gonna give you a nice juicy texture to it because you don't want to cool it down naturally it's gonna get soggy after you've done that all you need to do is to enjoy with your friends and family now it's all done look how fluffy and look how chocolatey it looks in there so coconut all this flour all combined together coconut fully samosa whichever you want to call it it's gonna be sweet and savory I hope thank you for watching uh, this episode. Please share and subscribe with your friends and family. Hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.